Hi, so I'm still playing uh, Elden Ring. Um, I really like how uh, in this game you just start right away without any tutorial. I think that's really cool how, like, there isn't, uh, there, there isn't, um, like, a super long tutorial where you have to learn all this shit that you might have already known because you played the other games, and, um, you know, it's just, it's just very good that they're not, like, forcing you to prolong the nightmare that is Dark Souls. Um, anyway, I, I mentioned this in my last recording. I uh, just got done playing Demon Souls, which is another just absolutely great game. I just said the game is a nightmare, but I mean that in the best possible way. These games are a nightmare in a good way. And now you can jump, which is like, I mean, there have been Dark Souls games for, you know, 15 years and you could never jump, but now you can jump. Look at that. It's awesome. That's that's so cool. Um, <clears throat> you know. Um, this is magic attack. Oh, I have a sword, too. I usually do both. Uh, like, if I'm playing, I'll have magic and, uh, you know, like a normal kind of warrior uh, thing. Like, I'll kind of try and do both. I'll, I'll have magic and strength and attack power with weapons and stuff allocated on my stats or allocated with my stats or whatever. That's what I did in Demon Souls. Um, uh, the other thing besides jumping that you can do that you couldn't do in any of the Dark Souls games, any of the other Dark Souls games, or Bloodborne or Demon Souls, is that they give you a mount, which is like a horse. That's what a mount is. It's not necessarily a horse, but that's, you know, a, a horse is a mount. Uh, well, damn, man. I'm gonna die right away. I don't have any Estus. Hopefully I still have... Uh, you know, some of the skill I had when I was playing Demon Souls for this game. See, look, I don't have any Estus, I don't have any way to, you know, I don't have any magic either, so, like, I'm just going to die. The first boss is kind of a, it's a misdirect. Like, there's no way to defeat him unless um, you were already really, really good at the game. So for me, only having played Demon Souls, never having played Elden Ring, I wouldn't be good enough. It's sort of just a, like the first boss is kind of a, a plot device. 
um, to send you someplace else, like wherever I am now in this video, some kind of swamp. So, you know, they kind of did this in um, other games, and that's how I knew I wasn't supposed to defeat that boss. Um, but uh, I don't really know what would have happened if I did defeat him. Like, if I would get some sort of, like, special, uh, unique item... Or if perhaps, I, like, um, I would go to some secret area, maybe? Uh, it's very unlikely that I would have been able to beat him because I didn't have this item that I just got. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? I kind of lost my lost track of what I was thinking. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, I was going to say, uh, I, I don't know... Uh, if they're, like, how I would have got the Estus thing. That's what these are. They're basically, like, Estus flasks. And, um... The uh, the other thing that, that it, this is the Estes flask, the red uh, flask of crimson tears, and the blue one is for we replenishing my magic ability. The red one is is for restoring my health, and the blue flask of cerulean tears is for restoring my magic. Um, but I, I, like I said, I don't really know how I would have gotten that if I did kill that first boss. Like, how would I get these items that I need if I had one? That mysterious woman wouldn't have been able to give them to me. Okay... 